Hello everyone. So for today I thought we could remake some of these banners and I grabbed or cut out some of the sticker banners here and some of these sticker pieces of tags. I thought we could just have a little bit of fun with it. We'll see. So I think I'm going to just make these one thickness here. What? Yes, I guess so. I am in the middle of a video, so you know, though. Yes, if you can open it yourself. I don't know how to open it. Ask Sissy then. She knows how to open a soda. Yeah. So this makes it just a bit thicker. Sister! Because a lot of these are really super small, so I kind of want to so we're just going to Again, make it a little thicker. This is a great way to use up your old book page. This one I think I'm going to end up doing in half. To be honest. It. Yes, you can. Okay, bring it here. I'll do it. There you go. Thank you. So, this is my plan. Yeah, just hold on. Get this sticker right across here very well. There we go. Again, I'm just trying to make these banner looking. May not be perfect, but that's okay. Sorry about the can opening. The kids want their root beer. Which happens at their age group, they want root beer. Yeah, sometimes I want root beer. I apologize if you hear yelling and beeping from my upstairs neighbors. They like to make a lot of noise, as you know. There we go. Again, I'm making them multiple sizes so it ain't going to look exactly the same. Oh, that one's too 
big. Yeah, this banner's a bit of a different shape, but that's okay. Again, I'm just having fun fiddling around with these different banners. I'm trying to throw out my garbage as I go through it, too. I think these banners will definitely look unique, which I like that factor. I don't want it all looking the same. I'm trying to line this up straight, which for some reason I'm having difficulties doing today. There we go with our little banners. Now I'm going to distress around all of them. I think that's going to add just a little something to them. Make them more distinctive, maybe. Sorry if I'm really quiet while I'm distressing. I'm just inking and thinking. That's what it is. Like Gail Augustinelli. All right, so now we can mix these up a little, depending on what we want, and make them into cute little banners. Maybe something to go on to tags, I don't know. Again, I just thought this would be a great way to use these banners, just so then it's... But I'm not going to put them together right now. We'll go on to our next thing. Now we have these tags, which I like these tags, but at the same time, I really don't. <coughs> they seem a little... Too small for me. So I'm hoping by using them just by a little fussy cut here and there. Just 
just give them a little bit of a different look to them. Let's see if we can punch out the hole. Oh, it's too big. All right, I have this one. Again, I just, I want to create something a little different rather than always making stuff the exact same. And I like putting them on a base. Just my personal prerogative there adding a little base to it. And again, another hole. I have a feeling this may not be. Oh, it may be. I get that. So all I have to cut off is this bit and this bit, and voila, we got ourselves. Cute little tag. All right. Now I'm trying to figure out if I want these tags to be coffee dot or have coffee paper in back of them or not. <coughs> I think that's. I'm just gonna put this. Use the fly page. That works. Again, this just thickens them up because. I like stickers, but when it comes down to tags, I'm not too sure how I feel about it being. Oops. I don't want it on that side. We want it on this side. Again, I just think this is a great way to use up old book page and also a great way to use your, if you ever get them scrapbook collections where there's stickers like this, it makes it way easier to use them scrap pieces.
artsy, nice and easy. But again, I think this again gives us a great way to use what we have to make things look better for future pieces. I'm still on that first day back home and again I've had ideas it seems like flowing out of me when I'm not home but as soon as I get home it's like oh back to work gotta remember to do this gotta remember to do that and when you create so many ideas when you're not home or come up with so many ideas when you're not home you gotta remember all of them when you get home <laughs> which is definitely another concept to get Now I gotta punch them holes. So. Here we go. Get these holes punched. <coughs> I apologize for the cough and everything. It's just what I call allergies due to the nice weather we've had this past week. It seems like my allergies are going AWOL. Alright, now we're going to distress. So yeah, just because they're stickers does not mean that you can't make them into journaling pieces. Honestly, they make just as good journaling pieces just because they're stickers. Again, my kids go nuts over the stickers, so I was lucky to save these stickers for myself. Honestly. <laughs> but that is actually normally what happens is I let them keep stickers for themselves, but I also use some stickers for myself. I think these would be great for them. So, when I go to add these to a page, or I could add them to a tag, they can sit on little things like this. These ball hooks are amazing when it comes down to that. And I made them thick enough where they're not going to rip as easily with that happening which was kind of the point and adding book page to it was to give it a little thickness so now we have three little ballpoint tags to add to we could add to a bigger tag like this one we could just hook it in and it goes with it hanging off which I really like again that idea so that's where 
these tiny ones will go into place. So great way of using them. I'm still thinking about gluing these all in one spot together. Don't know why, but I feel like they need to be glued together. So, but I know I probably shouldn't because they're probably going to end up being a part of other projects. So I'm going to stick them in my like clusters that I've been keeping. And I kept a couple banners too sitting here. But I thought perfect place for them right now is in here. I have used most of my clusters up. Some of my stamped images are still here. But I don't have very many clusters left. We might have to do a cluster day. These are banners that I've made in the past. I have a place for them that's different now, so I'm going to pull them away from that. It goes into my pre-made ephemera area. So this one's going to go in my pre-made area, and these are going to go where I put all my other ball points or ball pin stuff, because otherwise I forget about them. So there we go and we put it all away yay so i hope you enjoyed this video have a great day or night bye